Okay, happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so we just really want to make sure that we get to everyone's question um, as much as we can. If we can't, we'll make sure to send everyone an email. Um, but here are your hosts for today. Um, let's see, we have um, myself. So I am Stephanie. I'm on the customer success team. And I am the Partner and Implementation Success Manager here at Shippo. I started about three months ago, um, and I came from Narvar, where I learned a lot about tracking and returns for big and small retail businesses. Um, let's see, Sergio, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Welcome, everybody. Uh, glad that everyone is able to join today on Friday. Super excited to talk about Shippo and teach everybody a little bit about e-commerce and how to really optimize your situation. So just as a quick intro, uh, my name again is Sergio. I work uh, with Stephanie and Malcolm. I work in sales, specifically with Malcolm as an account executive. I work with uh, all types of our clients from small, medium to large. I don't have too much of a background in e-commerce, but over the last eight or nine months or so, definitely become somewhat of an expert so looking forward to talking about Shippo today. Wonderful. And Malcolm, I'd love to hear a little bit about you. Yeah. Hey, uh, Malcolm here. I work with Sergio and Stephanie. I'm on the sales side. Uh, I have a pretty extensive background in e-commerce. Uh, I've been with Shippo for a few years now. Uh, prior to that, I was at Walmart e-commerce. And um, before that, I was at a smaller uh, online retailer. So uh, have pretty good familiarity and also too, uh, I run my own small business online as well on Shopify. So I actually use Shippo as a customer, not just uh, interacting with it as an employee. So I've been in a lot of people's shoes that are probably tuning in right now, just getting started, trying to figure out the lay of the land. So uh, hopefully I can lend a little bit of my personal experience and help move you along and teach you some tips and tricks. Awesome. Thanks guys. Um, so the whole point of coming online today is to introduce new customers who are just coming into the shipping world or even just changing the ways that you were doing business before, especially with COVID, um, a lot of things have changed. So maybe you've never actually done any shipping before, um, or maybe you're just wanting to learn different tips and tricks on um, how to just help your business grow even more. Um, so with that, um, we'd want to get started. So um, Let's see, Malcolm, can you just share a little bit about what um, Shippo does and why we're pretty awesome? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think, you know, most folks that are tuning in, they have a pretty good understanding of, you know, what brought them here and, and exactly kind of what Shippo does. But let's just, let's just take a step back in and kind of go over what Shippo does in a nutshell, high level. And that can probably be tied to about four key things. So short answer, uh, as it says on the slide, shipping. Uh, we are a multi-carrier order management platform that provides you with instant access to discounted labels. Uh, we make it easy for you to connect your store. We connect with just about every major e-commerce platform there is. Uh, we give you access, like I said, to discounted labels and allow you to quickly and easily print them, especially a lot at a time. We also help you track your orders for both your own personal reference and pass that information along automatically to your customers as well as managing and automating your returns. Uh, so that's a little bit of a tricky topic, uh, but we help you make sense of it and do it pretty easily, but more on that later. That is Shippo in a nutshell. Awesome. Thank you, Malcolm. Um, wonderful. So um, let's see. So you probably have a lot of questions, especially if you're just getting started. Um, but Sergio, can you tell us just the best way to how to choose a package? I think that's probably the best place to start. Of course. So this is really one of those crucial and initial steps in the process. So you've created a product, you've created a business, you have a name, you have a website, and then you have demand. You have people that want to buy your items. So at this point, you have to get these items over to your customers. What are you going to do? Uh, the, the next step here is to choose your packaging. So choosing your packaging is, is very important because this can really help your business and it can really damage your business depending on what you do and what steps you take. So choosing your packaging is very important. So what you really want to do first is determine, you know, what is it that you're selling? You know, who is, who's purchasing these items? Are they far away? Are they close by? Are you shipping within the state? Um, are your items fragile? Are they big? Are they small? These are the types of things that you really need to think about before you choose your packaging. Uh, because there's a lot of ways to really optimize this. Obviously, 
You want your items to be safe. If they're fragile, if you're shipping glass, you want to make sure this gets to your customer, right? But if it's, if it's not necessary to really take those precautions, then you want to make sure to try and package something up as small as possible. The way these carriers really work is that they care about optimizing their space as well. So if you're taking up less space on a truck or on a plane, that's what FedEx, UPS, USPS, that's what they want. They want small packages. So you have to think about if, if I have the ability, if you're able to put your items in small packages and poly mailers, that's the way you want to go. If your items require additional packaging, if they, re if they require, um, you know, bubble wrap, things of that nature, and maybe it takes up a little more space, that's totally fine, but you want to get your items as small as possible. So a good rule of thumb here is if you're shipping items that can go in something like a poly mailer um, and you can really take up a, a little amount of space, you want to go that route. If you absolutely do need a box, then okay, it's totally fine to use a box, but you want to really determine what's going to work for you. And then another really good thing to think about is if these discounted packaging materials from a carrier can apply to you. Uh, you can really, really save a lot of money if you're utilizing something like a flat rate. So if you're utilizing flat rates, you can actually go over to the post office, for example, and you can get this, uh, these packaging materials for free. Uh, you do have to make sure to use that specific service level as far as a flat rate. But if you have the ability to do that and it's not going to you know, cost you too much money, um, or if it's going to be more than a standard uh, shipment, then flat rate is definitely the way to go. And then packaging, when you really are able to source this packaging, of course, we understand that not everybody is an enterprise, but if you have the option to purchase in bulk, definitely purchase in bulk. Some places that are able to accommodate that might be Uline or even Amazon. But if you have the option to buy in bulk, you're definitely going to save a lot of money because eventually you may use that. Um, you know, if you're buying single packages, it's probably not going to be the best bet. But really just here in a nutshell to, to really sum everything up here is figure out what it is that you're selling. Take up the least amount of space as long as your items are secure. If you're shipping out, you know, t-shirts and apparel, things of that nature that are not fragile, then you can really, you know, you have a lot of options there to use poly mailers or small boxes, but always try and take up the least amount of space possible. Awesome, Sergio. And along the same lines, like, can you talk to us a little bit more about just um, minimizing costs and just how we can save money during this time? Yeah, yeah, of course. This is another crucial part, especially for some of those people that are just starting out. You're an entrepreneur, you have a small shop, maybe it's a side hustle. Um, and we understand nobody, not everybody has, you know, unlimited funds. So you want to optimize and you want to minimize your costs. Uh, one good thing really to highlight here on this slide at the top is we're talking about flat rates. So flat rates are going to be, you know, they're going to be a problem solver. They're going to have the ability to save you a lot of money. But there's other cases where flat rate might be a little bit more and you can possibly be wasting money. So you need to really determine what it is that you're doing. A uh, normal, normal thing to think about here is that if you're shipping out small items and maybe they're heavy, um, via flat rate would probably be a good option. The reason why is because these boxes can support up to 70 pounds. So as long as you can fit whatever it is that you need in a small flat rate box, a medium flat rate box, and it doesn't exceed 70 pounds, you're good to go. That price isn't going to change uh, regardless of where it's going in the weight. It's going to be a good bet. Uh, but there's also more to consider, uh, consider to that. So uh, in addition to size and weight, you want to think about where it's going. So in this case, if you're, in, if you're shipping across the country, a uh, flat rate could be a good bet if it falls within that criteria. But if you're shipping down the street or maybe you're shipping in the same county, even the same state, as long as you're in the same zone, flat rate may not be your best bet because you may be paying, you know, three, four, five dollars more than what it would cost if you sent it out with your own box. So in order to really minimize costs, you maybe want to have all the options. You want to have some flat rate options. That way you don't exceed, you know, $13 uh, as far as a flat rate goes. Uh, and then you also want to have some packages that are a little bit smaller. So those customers that are shipping, that are, that are, excuse me, that are ordering down the street, you don't have to send it flat rate. So the good thing here is we do give you access to these rates. We provide these rate cards. That way you can determine, you know, what it is that's going to work out for me. And we also provide rates as far as first class, priority mail. Um, we give you the weight and zone. That way you can see what you're paying and then you can go to your store and then charge your, your customers appropriately. But Really, again, determine who your customer base is, what you're selling, and if flat rate makes sense, and you can really dial it in. And people, 
please don't get discouraged. You know, initially it is going to be very hard to dial in your pricing. This is something you're going to learn over time. And as you're shipping out and you gain experience, you'll be able to dial it in. But in the beginning, there, there is a slight learning curve. So don't get worried. Thanks, Sergio. That was really helpful. Um, on a different note, we, I know right now that I've been pretty much living in sweats and not wanting to leave my house or um, reduce the amount of time spent in any businesses. Um, and so I think something that Shippo offers is pretty cool is um, just working with scheduled pickups um, or even like manifests. And um, Malcolm, do you think you could share a little bit more about how people can just stay in their sweats longer at home? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, I understand that in you know, today's climate, uh, leaving the house when you don't necessarily need to is, is probably something that is on the top of your mind in all aspects. And it's not exclusive to just your personal life. It also applies to your business. Um, and thankfully with Shippo, we're able to operate most of your fulfillment operations directly from your home or some other type of location. Um, but you might not want to go into a post office. So the great news is you can schedule carrier pickups directly within the Shippo app. That is available automatically, or you can do it right in the app rather, uh, with USPS and DHL Express. And as you can see on the graphic that's displayed on the screen, that is right in your shipments tab. Uh, so you see schedule pickup and you just click on that drop down menu. Something important to note is that you want to give yourself about 24 hours of time if you are scheduling a pickup. So if you have something that needs to go out really urgently or it needs to be overnighted, you probably do not want to try to utilize the carrier pickup. You want to go ahead and drop that off yourself. Um, when you are scheduling a carrier pickup, you may they may require you to have a manifest or a scan form. And you can see it's that sheet that is behind the carrier pickup button there with that barcode. So what is a manifest or a scan form? It's basically a log of all of your activity or all of your shipments that you are indicating you want the post office to pick up or if you are dropping it off. And so this is important because as you can imagine, business is booming, you have a lot of shipments going out and the carrier needs to pick up say 50 packages at one time. Imagine if they were scanning each individual parcel, that would take a long time to start that tracking process. A scan form allows all of those barcodes and those tracking numbers to be associated with one barcode down there at the bottom. So your packages will be uh, linked to their each individual tracking number, but for the process of them scanning it in, super easy and they'll be very thankful. There isn't really a, like a set time when you do need to use a scan form or manifest, but I would say a really good rule of thumb is if you have more than a handful of parcels at one time that you're looking to drop off or have picked up from the post office, you definitely wanna go ahead and generate a scan form. And that is available right there in that shipments tab, right by the same button that you use to schedule a carrier pickup. And Shippo will generate that for you automatically and you just simply print it out. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, for insurance, um, if I'm shipping something that's of high value to me, um, what's the best way to get that set up? Yeah, so depending upon your individual business and the types of items that you sell and send, Insurance might be something that is either super important to you or maybe not really a big factor at all. But in the case that it is, it's important to know that most carriers and service levels have some level of built-in insurance. And you can find that information on the site in our help documentation um, that explains each individual service level and what that may be. It might be 50 bucks or 100 bucks that's built in and automatically provided by the carrier. But what if I'm sending something that is worth more than 50 or $100 or it's something that's extremely fragile that requires a special level of insurance. The good news is you can do that right within the Shippo app and it's just 1.25% of the declared value or 1% of the declared value. And the difference would be if you're in our pay as you go plan, it's 1.25% of the declared value. Or if you're with our pro plan, you get the benefit of even cheaper uh, insurance at just 1% of the declared value. We have this um, insurance through a vetted third party partner, Shipsurance, so if you have any claims, no matter what carrier you're utilizing, say you're sending something from FedEx, UPS, USPS, if you're using our additional insurance on the Shippo site, there's one single consistent claims process. It's really easy. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to shoot this back over to Sergio. Um, with, since we have so many carriers that we're working with, what's the best way we can optimize that? Yes, so this is, this is very important. Um, we're gonna give you options with several different carriers 
And it's very important to know what each of them mean and what each of them can kind of do for you, right? So Shipbo itself, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you discounted rates with our carriers. We're going to provide you discounted rates with USPS, UPS, and if you're shipping to international addresses, we'll also give you rates with the DHL as well. Uh, you won't see DHL unless you actually do put in um, an international address. So for the most part right now, those are the carriers that we offer in the future. We probably will be adding some more, but we're going to give you discounted rates with each of those. Now, the important thing and the good thing about Shippo is that you're going to have all these options available and you're going to have all these options available immediately. It's not best to have one on one off or maybe figure, Hey, I've had a good experience with this one. I've had a bad experience with that one. Um, let me turn this one off. Let me turn that one off. You always want to have all your options available. There's going to be times when you may need to get something over to another state immediately. And maybe you don't have an option with USPS or maybe you need to fall below a certain threshold and UPS may be a little more expensive. What we're going to do is we're going to give you access to all those rates at the same exact time. And by default, Shippo will choose the cheapest rate for you. Unless you want to specify that you need a certain carrier and service level. Um, if you don't do that, then it will always default by giving you the cheapest one. Um, so you really want to have all those activated and really how to optimize is, is, is doing this, taking the right step and utilizing a tool like Shippo, because we're going to do a lot for you from the beginning. So whether you've been around for 10 years or you're just getting started and you haven't even sold a product, we're going to give you all these options from day one. We're going to give you these discounts from day one. And some of these rates take years to establish. We've done the work for you. And on your first shipment, you're going to be entitled to the cheapest rates available. So this is great if you're starting out, because again, it's going to take a while to get um, those types of rates. So once you have all those options available and you're ready to fulfill, you'll see all your rates. And depending on what you need, if your customer selected something where they need it speedy, they need it overnight, you'll have that option to select that. But again, starting out in your Shippo account on day one and having all those active is what you want to do. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Sergio. And, and one other, I, I apologize. Sorry, Stephanie. One thing I forgot to mention is with all of these carriers, uh, we're actually going to waive some of these fees that you may have to pay if you were to go direct. So I'm talking about fuel surcharges. I'm talking about residential fees. You're actually not going to see those fees when you're utilizing um, a platform like Shippo. So these are things, again, that may take you a little bit of time to establish, but we're going to cover you immediately. That's awesome. Um, wonderful. Okay. So Malcolm, my social life has decreased since COVID started. So I'm pretty much only excited when I know that a package is coming. How can we help others um, with that once that um, package is shipped? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm sure if you're anything like me or anyone who is, who is listening right now is anything like me, the first thing you do when you purchase as a customer is you're wondering, when are you going to get your, uh, your item? Uh, you're checking the tracking, trying to find out just when can you anticipate it arriving at your doorstep. Um, so customer expectations are very high when it comes to having quick, reliable, and accurate information about tracking. So the good news is, is that you can provide that information to your customers automatically through the Shippo platform. Um, so their email address that's associated with the order, Shippo, if you want, you can turn this service on or off and it's included, of course, free of charge is we will automatically notify the customer when the item ships out. Uh, so they will get a notice to their email that indicates that it has shipped and it gives the tracking information and displays the most recent update in a tracking landing page that they can access right from that email, not going directly to the carrier site. So it's consistent across all carriers, no matter which one you utilize. Additionally, too, we have the ability to send your customers a delivery confirmation email. So as soon as that package has arrived at their doorstep shortly thereafter, they will receive notification. Really super convenient for your customers if they happen to be out and about and they know when they come home that they have that package waiting for them. And of course, too, if you are utilizing a platform such as um, maybe Shopify and they have a similar piece of functionality built in, you can turn this information off in Shippo or turn this feature off in Shippo. And since we communicate bi-directionally, we're sending the information back to your platform, you can still utilize your existing notifications in your platform to send out to customers if you so choose. So really the option is yours, but Shippo has your back and we have a really good solution for you if you need to utilize it. 
Thanks, Malcolm. Probably my favorite feature that Shipo has. Um, also, um, sometimes returns do happen. Maybe the shoe I ordered was the wrong size or the color was wrong. Um, how does Shipo help with returns? And Malcolm, if that's yeah, absolutely. Uh, so depending upon your individual business, returns may or may not be something that you offer. But in the case that you do or you're thinking about offering them, it is a huge thing to tackle. I know it is something that comes up very often in conversations I have with customers. And again, the awesome thing is Shippo has a really good solution to help make that really simple, take less of your time and actually make it a lot easier for your customers as well. So with Shippo, you really have two really good options for tackling returns. Uh, the first one being to automate that process. And that is to generate scan-based return labels with every shipment that you send out. So what that means simply is that you are generating a uh, return label from the postal service that is only charged to you if your customer utilizes the return, meaning they actually send something back. So you can generate one of these labels for every single order you ship out and have a return label in the box or in the uh, bag ready for your customer to utilize if they need it. So they don't have to message into you asking you to send them a label, any other additional heavy lifting on your end, they can handle it all on their own. Uh, the second option for handling returns is to do them on a one-off or case-by-case -case basis. So depending upon your business model or the types of products you are sending, maybe this makes a little bit more sense. So you want to have your customers write into you and contact you about setting up a return. You can simply generate a return label within our dashboard on a one-off basis. So what that will basically do is it will create a return label in a PDF format that you can send directly to your customer for a return and it will reverse the addresses. So you, the former sender, will now be the recipient and your customer that is uh, making the return will now be the sender. Thank you, Malcolm. Um, Sergio, can you share a little bit about, um, oops, sorry, um, with, um, with all the orders that are coming in, what's the best way to um, get the store, um, store connected or just get all the orders in there so we know which ones we need to fulfill? Yeah, of course. And th this one's really a, a loaded subject here. So obviously, Shippo, we integrate with the majority of e-commerce platforms out there. So all of the major players in the game, we do integrate. So I'm talking about Shopify. I'm talking about WooCommerce, uh, Weebly, Amazon, Etsy. We are going to have a direct integration with those. So there's a few things. There's a few things here. In the beginning, if you were to sign up today on GoShipo.com, a Shippo will actually walk you through the process. If you were to select a store that you're utilizing currently, in that initial sign up flow, you will have the option to connect your store immediately. So depending on what it is that you choose, it'll walk you through the process. For the most part, our integrations are going to be very direct. And what I mean by that is it's it's just going to ask for your username and password and maybe for permission to have the integration. There are gonna be a few out there that may ask for a tiny bit more like an API key that you may generate um, in Shippo or generate in the e-commerce platform, but Shippo will walk you through the process in full. So whether you're doing it in the beginning through the signup or let's say afterwards, let's say you actually skip that flow and you create your account. After you create your account, it's as easy as just going to settings and then going to stores and then from there, on the top right, you're actually going to see an option to connect your store where you'll be presented with all of our integrations. And then what it's going to do there is it's going to kind of take you back to that process that I mentioned earlier. You're going to click on, for example, Shopify, and it's just going to ask you for vital information, username, password, and do you agree to the permissions? So it's as easy as that to sync up your store. Now you're probably thinking, wait, I don't, I don't actually have an e-commerce store. I'm not on the internet. My orders come over the phone, they come over email, I handle everything through a CSV file. That's not a problem either. Shippo does not require you to actually have an e-commerce presence. So what you can do are a couple of things. You can actually upload a CSV file from your computer of your orders into Shippo. Um, from there, these orders will be in Shippo and it'll look as if you did sync up a store. So if you have your orders uh, through there, through a CSV, that's not a problem. But if you maybe have your orders that are only over the phone, or maybe you just do them as you go, we also give you the option to create manual orders as well. 
So in that initial homepage on the order screen, you can click on the far top right and it's gonna say create a manual label. It's as easy as clicking on that. It's gonna walk you through the process, ask for your recipient information, package info, service level, and you're good to go. So the cool thing about Shippo again is we're really gonna cover you on all ends. So whether you are connected to a technology like a e-commerce store or you access everything on Excel, or maybe you just do things on the fly, and those don't even have to be for orders. Maybe you're sending a replacement part, or maybe it's just a one-off, maybe it's even a gift, or maybe it's even for personal. You can actually utilize our manual label feature to um, send, those, send those items out. But that's how to connect your storage, Shippo. Thanks, Sergio. Um, so that was it for our um, main topics. Um, but we're ha you know, we want to make sure we walked everything through you through for you. Um, but if you have any other questions, I believe we still have some time. You're welcome to throw it in the, the chat here. Um, but I just wanted to also just um, give Sergio and Malcolm the floor if they want to just bring up any topics that um, maybe we didn't have on the presentation um, or anything that um, came top of mind. I don't know, Sergio, you're just um, talking if you want to add anything else. Uh, yeah, I know we have, I know we just have a couple of uh, questions on the chat that we can, we can definitely answer. Uh, one, one thing I did just want to bring up, not sure if everyone is aware, but Shippo is free right now. So regardless of our pay as you go plan, our professional plan, all of our tiers and professional, they're actually going to be free for everyone as long as you're under 5,000 packages per month until October 1st. So if you're evaluating, if you're switching, or maybe you're just new, right now is really a great time to test because we are not going to charge you for Shippo services. Um, if you are above that 5,000 mark, we'll probably discuss something a little bit different. There would be pricing. Uh, this is really Shippo's way of giving back uh, due to the coronavirus. So we're actually helping out some of the smaller businesses out there. So uh, definitely take advantage of those free plans out there right now. Awesome. And we can, um, not sure if uh, Malcolm, you want to maybe uh, go back, uh, back and forth on some of these questions we can answer for, for a little bit. Yeah, I could probably cover a good bit of them. Um, so yes, on the recording to Taisha, I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, so that's a yes there. Uh, discounted rate charts. Uh, in our help articles, I believe you can find ac get access to uh, the rate charts for the postal service. Uh, we do offer really awesome discounted rates with UPS. Unfortunately, based on our agreements with the postal or the with uh, UPS, uh, we can't share the rate chart itself. But what's really cool is right in your Shippo account, if you just set up a like a shipping a, like a example scenario, you can find the uh, example right there. So you can do like a rate quote to compare against maybe rates that you already have or some rates that you've seen elsewhere. But the awesome thing is they're really really cheap regardless. Um, rate match in our square store. Um, yeah. So when you, your orders, when they come over from your school, from your store, you would be able to see the service level or what they paid, uh, in the cart your customer did. So you would have at least some sort of context into what they're, um, into what they paid. Um, but you would be dictating on your e-commerce platform, the shipping rate that your customer is paying. And it really wouldn't involve Shippo. So that would be all on the front end. Shippo comes into play on the back end post purchase. Cool. And I think, I think, uh, I don't think we talked about William's question. Uh, William, you, you had asked about uh, plans to allow import for a CSV um, with box size in addition to weight. So at the moment uh, the CSV upload is limited to uh, basics, pretty much everything except the size of the box. So the weight will import. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that. I don't think I have any knowledge as far as whether we're going to implement that. But the way we really fix this problem here is that in Shippo, uh, we do allow templates. So we can have a template which would have a set dimensions and weight, which you can apply. Um, you can't even apply auto automatically as well. So if uh, Shippo is recognizing an order at a certain weight, then we can apply a specific template. Uh, which would provide the dimensions of that box. But yes, unfortunately, uh, the CSV upload does not have a field for the dimensions of boxes. And I think we had another one on the Q&A. Uh, so what is the difference between the current free plan and the paid service? So very simple. I would really just say it's, it's three things essentially. 
So with the, and I hope you mean the pay as you go and compared to the subscription. So there's really three things. So one obviously is the structure of payment. So with the pay as you go, there's no monthly fee. It's, it's free per month. You just pay five cents per label. And then on the pro plan, you have a subscription. So you pay a fee per month. So instead of getting nickel and dimed, you're pretty much just paying that flat rate per month. Um, other than that payment structure, there are two things. So it is support and customization. So with support on the free plan, there is only support available via email. There's no live chat support. On our subscription service, we do offer live chat support that, is, that exists in the Shippo platform. And then when I talk about customization, I mean the ability to add a logo, color scheme, um, even I believe it's a thousand uh, characters of text onto your packing slip, your tracking page, and your email notifications. Um, not on the actual shipping label itself, please note, but those are the customizations that are available on that pay-as-you-go plan. It's standard and there would not be any customizations, okay? Um, and then Taisha, how do we get the shipping discounts? So it's as simple as signing up for Shippo. Once you sign up for Shippo, you will get, dis you will get the discounted rates. Um, our rates that, are, that populate in Shippo when you're trying to fulfill orders those have the discounts applied. So there's nothing you need to do in order to access the discounts. You'll get them immediately, okay? Cool, I think we have one more I saw up here and that is, I'm not sure, Sergio, if you tackle it, maybe I missed it, but sending to multiple emails, did we touch that one? Um, yes, I, I believe I answered okay. that, cool. yes. If yeah. there's uh, any other questions too, um, I'll just go ahead and plug kind of some options that you have. So. Um, you know, really happy to be able to put on, you know, events like this and do webinars. But the good news is it's not just a one-time thing. Um, we have awesome resources that you can utilize at any time at your convenience, at your leisure. You see right there on that screen underneath the thank, thank you and the Shippo logo is support at goshippo.com. You can just send our support an email if you have any additional questions or if you have any issues as you're going along utilizing our platform. In our app, I believe it should be in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you will generally see a chat option. That's a really good way to get direct access to somebody who is very knowledgeable about the platform and can help you along with any questions you have. There's also ways that you can request a phone call. Um, additionally, too, we have a really awesome and robust help center with lots of articles um, about utilizing and maximizing your experience uh, in Shippo. Additionally, too, we have a blog um, that has really, really awesome articles about the shipping industry at large, uh, helpful articles about small business and growing your business, and a lot of just really cool, fun content that is directly catered towards our audience, which is you. Um, so really, really hope you get to utilize that. And I would sincerely recommend taking advantage of it um, in some capacity. Um, but we are here to help no matter what mechanism you choose to reach out. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. I think we'll um, leave it open just for a little bit longer if there's any last minute questions. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, we just have an awesome support team. We were um, a little backed up in March. So if you ever did reach out to us during that time, I apologize. We had some delays. The good news is that the team is back in action, um, ready to answer any questions that you have in a quick turnaround. Um, so we definitely um, recommend using our support team as an amazing resource. And if anybody has any other additional questions, uh, feel free to shoot them here. I think we'll just, we'll stick around for a few more minutes to answer. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and shoot them over there. Oh, we got some. So uh, Taisha, again, I signed up for the professional plan. I haven't seen the discounts on my page. Um, Taisha, I'm not sure if you mean um, the discounts on your e-commerce page or on the Shippo page, uh, because again, to Malcolm's point earlier, uh, we're not exactly going to dictate the pricing on your e-commerce. So, so on your Etsy or your Shopify or whatever website you're running, you'll be able to dictate that pricing. So if you are in Shippo and you're able to determine what it is that we're charging with our discounted rates, you can go ahead and go into your e-commerce platform onto your website and you can plug in those prices based on whatever rules you want. But the integration between Shippo and your e-commerce platform, it unfortunately won't be live. But again, whatever orders you are fulfilling in Shippo, those rates that you see as you're purchasing the labels, they are indeed discounted. Um, if I'm missing anything there, just you know, feel free to correct me, okay? 
and where exactly are the charts uh, in terms of the in terms of the shipo discounted rates? Um, Malcolm, where do you know the uh, the exact page or the URL for the for the rates? Or I will go ahead and grab that here in just a second. I will put it in the answer to the question, uh, and then of course too we can follow up directly. Um, but it's it's right there in our in our help articles. I'll be more than happy to pass that along. Yeah, definitely. And I'm also going to provide our calculator. So our calculator will give you any rate for USPS. So I will go ahead and just put that in the general chat. So that link right there is for our calculator. You can enter information for a shipment through USPS and it'll provide you with our discounted rates. Okay. So it may not be an actual chart, but you can get uh, live rates right there. And Brittany, so is it is it possible to say frequently uh, addresses shipped to, so address that you're, you're shipping to frequently? So we, at the moment, we don't have an address book. It's something that we definitely want to add in the future, but your browser will actually take care of this. So if you're using something like Google Chrome or even Safari, those uh, platforms, those, those browsers, they will save customer information. So if you add a manual label in Shippo and you have the name, the address, the phone number, and you create a label, that address, uh, it will, you will have the option to save that in the browser as long as you opt in. You can save that to the browser and the browser itself will actually have an address book that you can start typing. Um, you know, you can start typing the beginning of a name and it'll auto populate that person's name. So the browser does have an address book built in, okay? Welcome, very welcome. And I think we'll just, um, we will, I think we'll, we'll let questions come in until about 11.45 and uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep answering here. Uh, and Brittany, uh, so the email notifications, no, unfortunately the email notification will send over to the email address that was used to create the order. So whoever ordered that item from your store, they will get the notification of the shipment. Uh, we unfortunately don't provide the option for multiple emails there, okay? Very welcome and Bree, thank you. Appreciate the kind words. I think that's, I think that looks like it's it. Uh, again, um, don't feel like you have to get all of your questions in right here during this session. Happy to answer maybe one more if you have another one come up live, but otherwise there are a million ways to get in contact with us or somebody else on our team who is equally qualified to answer uh, any questions that you might have about shipping or using Shippo in general. Yeah, and uh, Jerry, we'll, we'll go ahead and use it. Uh, we'll utilize this one as our last one here. So Jerry is asking, uh, I'm thinking about doing free shipping. I'll be shipping a variety of items in size and weight. I'm not sure how to figure out the shipping costs. So the way to figure out the shipping costs is, is very simple. Um, the calculator that we have right there in the chat, you can utilize that. And I understand there are gonna be various uh, sizes and weights. So once you determine the size and weight of your packages, you can either A, enter them into our calculator or B, sign up for Shippo for free and you can start trialing it and, and putting in the weights and dimensions and even your destination to see what it is that, they're, that we are gonna be charging you. So those rates that you see on the calculator are live. They are only for USPS, unfortunately. But if you sign up for Shippo um, on goshippo.com, you will have access to UPS as well. So I highly recommend opening up a free account because again, it's free. Open up a free account, put in your package, put in a sample destination, and then go ahead and see those discounted rates. And then at that point, you can determine the pricing for your customer, okay? And Jennifer, the calculator is on the chat. It's right there on the website, and I'm answering it on that chat as well. So there it is. So you can access it at that at any time. Um, I think that's it, though. Anything else, guys? No, nothing from me. Thanks guys so much. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you, Malcolm. That was really, really helpful. Um, we're here for you guys if you need anything. Our support email is support at goshippo.com. Um, but we really appreciate everything um, that you guys have um, asked us. Um, we hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Friday. Enjoy the weekend. And thanks so much for joining. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.